Sean? Sean, yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Andy. Andy's right there. I'm going to do a ghost box right quick. Right. Hi, Andy. There he is. Hey, Sean, where are you? Alright, well. Sean's coming. I hear that. That's the only problem with like basements is that that's where all the wiring, that's where everything is. Um, I think that's radio. Hello, is there any spirits down here? <clears throat> you know, me and Nicole were talking the other day and we were talking about you know, being the direct your attention towards a certain part. You know, yes, there's skeptics out there about psychics or whatever. Um, it's just that that we really aim to find the energies. We using our own bodies. Our our bodies are the most important tool we have in paranormal investigations. I'd have to say 10 to 1, that is the, the best way to do it. Um, um, we, we try to get both scientific and spiritual. You know, having that mix, having one view on something, it really just, it, it, it's hard. It's hard to see it at one point of view, um, to see it at the most every angle that you can look at yes you know look at the scientific part of it and the spiritual side of it because ah oh, i just got an image I don't, I don't think it's down here though Just uh, making a mental note here. The sewage is down here. Um, I mean, this the the internet net, the internet network networking to the building. That I mean, I could see the I could see the whole this whole building. Same. Uh, measurement reading wise, our base readings should be off the scale and almost every room. And we try to, we try to, we understand that the EMF is just actually, you know, a tool that it measures, you know, electrical boxes and stuff like that, but. This is where everybody experiences things, but it's not um, it's not here in general. It's up above, straight above us. What room do you think that is? I really couldn't venture to guess. Wouldn't it be like the bottom area? That's why it's above us. I think so. I would think so because we had to get walk through the ballroom area to get down here. Yeah, you might be right with that. <coughs> yeah, we're in the back of the... Um, we're going to try something a little bit... Um, shoot, my phone's not on me. Uh, we're actually going to do it a little later on, but uh, we actually have a... 
uh, sound analyzer and what that would be able to be doing for us is um, we can see the wave patterns and in like we can pinpoint a wave pattern anywhere so it has a, a spectrograph of each frequency so later on we're going to get gonna do some EDPs um, I just really think it'd be a waste of time down here for any EDPs I really don't think we'd get anything down here um, and that's you know that goes back into having a psychic on your team I mean if you do believe it or believe it or not you know it's all up to the viewers um, but I really think it would help focus on an area that is actually haunted versus wandering around a building and trying to you know what I'm saying Jesse? yeah I know what you mean We'll do it just to have a, a reference for later. Maybe we'll get something on the full spectrum <coughs> camera. How is that anyway? Is that pretty good? Yeah, I can see the complete other side of the room. This room is completely dark. There's nothing in here. But no lighting. There's spirit in here. What is your name if there is? I mean this thing normally after after response, response, response. Nothing. I'm really happy that we're going to do the fur day cage tonight. <laughs> I was actually just going to say that being down here is almost like a fur day cage. more or less natural fur day cage with all the, the, you know, the brick and wall and the, yeah, which we actually wanted to test out our, our homemade fur day cage later on upstairs, which what that essentially does is cuts out any random radio frequency from the I'll do a box. little clip on our little uh, me and you doing our, our thing um, yeah we got the making the of, of the screen we do have it on YouTube on our channel of making the um, birding cage and yeah blocking all of those frequencies out um, I don't know I think I think this is really all we're gonna get um, well, I think we need to head upstairs yeah um, we are using an actual four-channel mic tonight. Uh, Andy's going to be our new sound guy for now until we get him a, 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 a harness that holds the camera, so we can have more than one camera rolling at one time. Um, yeah, so this this thing's an amazing piece of equipment, and it's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's head upstairs. Um, I, you know, I actually would like to do a little bit down here, but I, to be honest, I, I don't feel anything down here as of today. It could be anytime, anywhere, but right now, scientifically, you're, it's, it's going to be almost impossible with these wires here. Yes, you you can document the high high frequencies and that, but yeah, I there is no reports of anybody dying down here or anything like that. Is there? I, I don't think there is. Not that I know of. It's all upstairs. Yeah, I I don't really see. I think I think it's the whole concept of it actually being. Basement. A basement and being dark and it's creepy. Dude, I mean, it's pretty big. My basement's more haunted than this one. <laughs> it does be. So I don't know. It's you. Know, we can't. We can't. We can't say either way. We can't. We can't say it's haunted. Not haunted. 
I mean, I may contradict myself with that, but with hauntings, they come and go, you know? But as of today, being here, I have to say, down in the basement. Um, and it is like 1 o'clock in the morning right now, too. So it it's not like the middle of the afternoon or anything. Um, I mean, this thing may, you know, you know we could ch it could change and we could get an EVP off this, you know? But I'm skeptical on it. I, I have to look at it. Except I put my psychic abilities to the side when it comes to... I mean, I could, I could say yes, you know, walking around down here and saying yes, it's not haunted, but there is no validation of me with the equipment to say that it's haunted. That it just, it just doesn't come hand in hand this time. All right, guys, let's go upstairs. Both the lights. Uh, could shut them off or what? Where are they on? Whatever. I don't know if they were on or what you bought. I don't know. This place is huge. <laughs> it's just Liam, we can have somebody come and sell them off later. Oh. <laughs> ah, it's dark. Check it out. There you go. I'm down here. <laughs> It's I see you. It's dark. <laughs> I can see you. I see you too, Andy. You know, it, it's still the creepy factor of it being dark. It's yeah, pole dancing by Andy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, any spirits on here? You can talk to us anytime right here. Knock something over, please. Hmm. I don't think. It would make any difference having the light off or on. But we'll test it out anyway. The spirits down here. The DJ has to lock up the room there, um, so I'm just glad we got the, the, the our base readings. Um, we'll show that later on in the video, and I suppose you can just keep it rolling. <coughs> we'll just go right upstairs. I can cut out between things here. Probably just cut this out then. Yeah. All right. Off. Or is that just turn that off? It's rolling otherwise. <coughs> Let me turn it off or no? No, I'll just keep it. This is the DJ room. Now I'm starting to feel something. Was it your stomach? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was my stomach. We actually have the. How are we gonna do the morgue too? Huh? Sounds interesting. Yeah, the bartender said that we'd be more than welcome to come back and do that. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool to do. Uh, heard another paranormal team got their eye poked. It was at the story. That yeah. I think it was. Was it Fax Valley Paranormal? I believe so. That's one other thing too. Is like you know all the. You know all the other paranormal groups around you. Just this is this something you need? Did you, you find out real quickly? <laughs> um, is it the lake? Yeah, it looks like a lake. Huh? I mean, right, right by the lake. I think 
That's so ugly. That says it's a little, little tiny lake, like Michigan. I don't even know where it is. <laughs> I know we're close to it. All right, well. You know what? We're here, we'll just do this real quick. Well, as long as we're in here. Oh, well, yeah, why not? Hello? Is there a spirit in here? This is we're gonna treat each room equally. <laughs> The rest of the crew is probably doing reading somewhere else. And this building is absolutely huge. Is there a spirit in here? Play some piano, bro. Play some Mozart. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's well, not, it's not gonna happen. Brian, the worst piano player ever. No, that's not. That's not true. It's very untrue. There's gotta be somebody worse. I'm gonna make play some chopsticks. <laughs> Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah, it's fine. It's, <laughs> it's fine. It's the best. Yeah, it's fine. Shh. Okay. Shh. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Don't trip on the chair. Your secret's safe with me. How about you, Mr. Skelton? Oh, boy. Right here? This again, huh? You know, Mr. <laughs> Skelton answers. He, he, he did last time. If a sci fi kid, hey, yes. Yeah. It did. No, he's not gonna answer. <laughs> that thing was. Yep, time's up. Um, is there a spirit over there on that bed? It's at 400. It's at 400. Over there it's at 800. That'd be like the same type of strings on there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Yeah, put it back over there. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's really high for a bed, man. Yeah. Over, over here it's at 400. I mean, it's the same type of bag. I mean, it's 730-something. Is there a spirit over there? Can you make, can you make it go up higher? Touch it. Touch the light over there. Let me get the camera and you good. I'm good. Put the phone laying there too. That's Sean's phone iPod. Is over here? This is. Go ahead and hit the skeleton.
moving a little bit, but I think that's from the air when I did that. Did you come over and hit the skeleton hangout? Not really feeling anything anymore. There's a man's voice right there. Hello? Yeah, so it's kind of feeling something over here, so I... Hello? If somebody knocks back, I'll, I'll probably piss myself. <laughs> 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 hey, bro? Some weird noise here. Is there anyone in here? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> Is it okay if we come in? Knock back if you're in here. I thought it was fair something. Thought you heard something? Say we're allowed to go everywhere up in here. I don't think we can go into the bar, can we? Mm -hmm. Is it open? No. It's locked. I don't know. Pick up anything? Let's go over to the, those doors over there. I don't know if we're by that ballroom thing. Or is that leading to the ballroom over here? They're far away. I can hear stuff on the ghost box, but it sounds like they're far away. Whoa, look at this thing. You just saw a ghost, I think. <coughs> you must have saw a ghost. <laughs> you look scared. Neither that or his eyes are dry the heck out. No eyelids. Need <laughs> some contact solution. <laughs> that's an old egg. That's, that's old a, safe, dude. Yeah, that's a long saying. I bet there's some money in there. <laughs> a lot in there. <laughs> I don't even know the comments. There's is. someone in there? I bet you they don't even use it. No. 
Play some music for us. Go to the piano. I want to hear, hear if you can play music. Just a couple notes. Just I want to hear a little music. Okay, Brian tried playing before. If you're not too good, it's not a big deal. <laughs> if Brian didn't break Brian it. Brian is a terrible person at piano. If, if Brian didn't break it, you'll be fine. Just play a little bit. I'm going to switch off here. Uh, hey, do you want to switch out? Everything's cool on that one. that guy yeah. what what I'm asking he's the mayor here too huh huh yes yeah, sir it kind of sounds like the, that the hell he's dressed and you know, all this 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 is just said that yeah yeah Mr. Carson. Are you here? Did you like being mayor? Did you like being mayor? Do you like what they've done to your building? Do you like what they've done to your hotel? Do you know my name? Would you like to know my name? room would you like us to go in front? Which door? What's your favorite room? No, 
I was wondering. The only reason a spirit would stay here is if their personal objects were here. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. That's the thing that's keeping them here. I mean, if they had a, such a great time here, or even Agatha, for example, you know, it. Yeah, I. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, I don't know what was all original yeah, from I mean, her. That I mean, the records actually say that she had, didn't die here. Right, which was what we just understood had happened. That was kind of cool because we came down here. Nicole, it's like Brian, you were right. You were what? She she didn't die here, and she was looking up the 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 records that they keep here. Yeah. And it, that's what I felt, you know, right away, that 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 she didn't die here, like. But I wonder if somebody done rituals here, like. I do feel trying to bring her spirit, yeah, I, like a seance or something. Yeah, with her personal objects, that's what I really something to kind of that ended up linking her spirit here more yeah. than it should have been. Yes, um, it's just like, um, Durja, a Durja box, I think that's what it's called, right? Something like that. Like linking an, uh, a spirit, you can trap a spirit here with an object uh, very easily, well not even really knowing that you've done it. But I think, I think Several times a Ouija board has been used here. I can, I can I, definitely I can feel, feel it. I can it. feel that. Um, well, some, somebody's practiced magic here several times, several times over, and I think every time that's been introduced into this atmosphere, keeps the energy going too. Well, I can just, I can just picture somebody you know, like renting the room and <coughs> going up there with a Ouija board and trying to. You know, basically achieve the same end we were doing here ourselves. Yeah. And plus, there's been, like we said, there's been a lot of paranormal teams here already that have basically done the same type of stuff, more or less. And I mean, all of that kind of keeps generating energy. I mean, we've we try to debunk a lot of stuff here, and I, and it can be very easily, you know, just a lot of stuff dismissed. You know the Right. I think I think a lot of it is to do with the the Wi Fi boosters here. Um Yeah, those are really messing up like the walkie talkies. Yeah, a lot I of mean stuff. that's interfering like constantly with those. But then we have an interference in Agatha's room too, so I don't know if that could be the connect maybe. I mean, we it. have our Wi-Fi in the room going, too. That's true. We have our own Wi-Fi hooked up, so, yeah. Um, you, you were standing, like, right next to it when it went off, so yeah. I'm assuming it was Wi-Fi. Um, it's just a lot of stuff that... The common sense stuff, you can rule out right away with, with you know, not even spending that much time debunking something, and it's a really waste of time do try to debunk something that it's common sense. Yeah, not really going to spend like 15 minutes debunking something that is pretty obvious what it is. Yeah. I don't know. Um, impressions. I, I don't know. I think we're going to be wrapping up pretty soon. A lot of us have to get what time is like four, four. I think in the, um, about an hour maybe left of 
doing experiments and then so I kind of want to go up to the second floor a little bit a little bit again see if we can go into one of those other rooms nearby the room that the actual person actually died in and yeah, I think I think we should focus around something more of a hard proof that somebody died in a room so because yeah like all those reports of all these other spirits are not they didn't die these people didn't die here we well, yeah, and uh, <coughs> the kid Billy I believe his name was Billy uh, Nicola said he didn't die here he, he actually died at a hospital I believe he, she said from liver failure some, some medical issue yeah 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 um, and yeah Agatha actually died on a farm at a farmhouse or something so I mean, stuff that we were told when we did research ended up proving. Three o nine? Is that the one straight across from us? Yeah, we we were just in there. Is that the one straight across from the room? Yeah, that's the one we were in. Yeah, we went in there for a little bit. We didn't really get a whole lot there. It seems like a pretty plain room, actually. Yeah, that that was my doing. All right, thank you. Oh, um. I, I don't I don't think a lot of the trigger out the dark I think that is actually another waste of time too really to be honest with you um especially especially if I don't know i I mean I heard reports that the stuff's been played with or whatever right. um I think Nicole did the the ball thing yeah she said she was gonna try to get like some marbles see if Billy would play with them or something. It kind of sounded like she had no results with that. So, I mean, really didn't hear anything. It just, I think mostly it's the floorboards that make those noises. Yeah, it's a, it is a very noisy building. I mean, that's obvious just walking through it. So, yeah, I guess there's reports that these stairs that we came down before, I guess uh, uh, Kevin said that some guy had fallen down on him too, and some drunk guy, and Agatha was accused of doing that too. But obviously, I mean, old stairs, they're kind of a little bit Been spongy. drinking a little bit? Yeah, and little alcohol makes the footing kind of unstable. Yeah, I, I don't know. I really I really think that I think a lot of it I think a lot of people being just because it's, you know, everybody all the reports of it's haunted, people are going to start making things up. I think it's a lot yeah, of mean, it like the, that. Like, like the stair thing is a great example right there. I mean, you know, a drunk guy stumbles down some stairs and the ghost pushed him, you know. I mean, that's even coming from Kevin, too. I mean, he's he's here the most, you know, he's the owner. And... But he did also say that there was a lot of reports of staff that stay here, that they also work here, that they report stuff, like, weekly that happens to I mean it could be a he you know it could be really obvious stuff you know something sitting on the on the edge and the, you know falls or whatever I mean to be really thorough with this place um, we have seen more haunted places than here I if I would score it as of today sites for that room the 310 and I think that the whole thing about the 310 being the way it is I actually just think it's been a lot of stuff done in it yeah I just everybody that's been in that room 
and that just generates the haunted it. room. So everybody goes there. And yeah, and um, you go up there with a Ouija board. You start using the Ouija board more and more and more and more and more. You know, if you like it or not, you know, if you're a skeptic or not, you know, the people that are actually doing it believe that it works. So therefore, it d works. Uh, self will. So. Kind of like the same as like a pendulum type idea. Yeah.